You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Ilmat, Blackout 6, 15 Minutes of Fame. Let's go. Hot off the press. You turned it out. Tell me what's up. Hey, man. You tell me. I feel like we both went in there and did what we were supposed to do. That's all. I think that's all what everybody wanted. What, first of all, what are you holding on right there? Uh, this artist, bro. Uh, Hannibal. Oh, I'm so bad with names. My boy Hannibal made this shit. He went crazy on it. Yeah. So I got to make sure to get this back. One above the devil. Six, six, seven. Yeah, I got to make sure to get this So that's you right six. there, right? Yeah, yeah. Me when I was on my Grizzly beard, Grizzly Adams. Yeah, I saw he did one for Past Day as well, too. Yeah, he, did he really do one dope. for all the battlers? Or? Uh, I don't know if he did one for all the battles. I know he did one for Gandy, too. Okay. So I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's get back to the battle. So, I thought it was a really good battle. I thought it was an extremely good battle. We hate to use the word classic until you've at least seen it twice. Right, but right. it's definitely in that category. It definitely had the setting. Everything was right. No stumbles, no nothing. Everything was... Well, I'm going to let you tell her. I want to hear from nah, you. Nah, yeah. That, that's why I say I feel like we both did what, what we were supposed to do. Like, as long as we're performing at a level where we're going to be happy with after, that shit is going to be a classic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I, he, was, he was bombing on me. It, it felt in the ring, because I've been involved in a couple classics in my right. time. Right. And it felt like, oh, this might be one of those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I noticed one of the things that... Hey, it's loud over there. One of the things I noticed is that you took a, um, an angle and you stuck with it, and you kind of stuck with it through all three, through all three rounds. Um, do you ever get scared of doing that? Because if the, if it doesn't hit the first round, then you actually stuck with the same. Nah, so I, I don't think I took the same angle all three rounds. But I think I like basically what the out the outline of my shit was was my thinking going into it was is Rum as a superstar because he, he battled out here on Blackout, mm -hmm. but Rum. In superstar form for the first time in Toronto. I'm like, no matter what I do, he's gonna bomb, bomb on me in the first, and everything is gonna hit. I'm like, mm -hmm. just because his style is instant gratification, and it's gonna pop in that room. I mm -hmm. knew that was gonna pop. So I'm like, what I need to do is in the first, basically break down the punches very detailed to make sure that he has diminishing returns in round two and three. So I'm like, I know he's gonna bomb. So I'm gonna punch in the midst of it and create moments, the blackout, the shot, you know, all these different things where I'm like, I'm still gonna have to punch, but I need to put a chink in the armor just enough to give me breathing room in two and three, cause that's my strongest rounds to me. And I'm like, and I'm bombing in the second with aliens. So the first is breaking down your punches. The second is, a the just name flips. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna punch with you. I'm gonna play right. your game, but I'm gonna do it my way, you know? Mm -hmm. And in the very end, I was like, okay, I'm gonna speak the aliens language. Right, Let's right, talk right. this otherworldly science shit, you know? And, and you definitely I, came I with it, yeah. I can't help but throw the ill Mac twist on yeah, it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And then round three was like, just say what you mean. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is what I mean, and I wanna say, you know? Mm -hmm. and so I start off at, boom, boom, you know what I mean? And then get into the originality needing a place in battle. Because sometimes, and it's always the case with whatever style is popular that not, you know, it can sometimes get repetitive, but it's good with variety. And that's what I wanted this battle to showcase, but variety is key. Was there anything that he said that really stuck out to you that was different or interesting? Um, I actually, my favorite shit was when he was breaking me down, breaking him down. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, he's uh -huh. like, you're going to break me down. With the, it was the third, so the round placement was like a little odd to me, but that shit was like my favorite shit because I'm like, okay, you kind of went outside mm -hmm. that box a little bit. I'm like, right. I, I really like that. You know what I mean? Right, right. Was it any, um, and that's when he went into the, was it the Mount Rushmore thing? Yeah, 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 that, yeah. Was, that, that was, that was, that was crazy. That was fire. That, that was, was crazy. Was like, okay. Yeah, whoever well, didn't see that, they got to go back and check yeah, that. That was one of the hardest parts. <laughs> it's an older white supremacy on native land. Was there anything that you said that you felt like went over people's head or, or didn't get the reaction that you want or, or didn't get to say? Nah, nah. I think I think everything happened as it should. Mm -hmm. right, right. Well, I ain't going to hold you too long. Everybody's getting out of here. Anything else you want to put out there? Shout out 15 Minutes of Fame, man. For real. Shout out Heavyweights. Keep your fucking head up. Get back out here as soon as possible, bro. We here. We out here for you. Let's go. Heavy bags. What's up? You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame.
Let's go! Let's go.